Tonight, the people who live in one Pasco County neighborhood have a good reason to be a little nervous tonight. A hole in the ground has opened up between two homes. Peter Bernard joins us now live from the River Ridge area of Pasco County. That is an area that has seen these depressions before, and it is so unnerving for those residents. It certainly is, Jen, and we've got another one here tonight. Essentially, this is at the Tall Pines at River Ridge, and the exact neighborhood is called the Oaks. The hole is about eight feet by eight feet, which lends people to think it might be a sinkhole, but so far, that word is not being uttered around here. Let's take a look at some pictures from Eagle 8 HD. Flew over this scene a little while ago. Eight feet by eight feet, and that gives uh, people a little chance to worry on this thing. Um, what's going on is there's a possibility that this is not exactly a sinkhole, that it is really scouring caused by some leaking pipes. Some neighbors told some folks here with the Pasco County Emergency Management that there was some work done in this area, they think, under a shower pan. So it's a possibility this is all the result of that. So one homeowner has been asked to leave. That person has left. That's a, a woman. And there's a second homeowner. We're standing in front of his house right now. We understand he was told to leave. As a matter of fact, there is a condemn, a condemn sign on the front of his window indicating he's not supposed to be inside, but he has not been ordered to leave. And he has decided to stay because he's convinced this has all been caused by those leaky pipes. So one person out, one person is staying. Uh, that faulty piping may be to blame. The DEP, which is the Department of Environmental Protection, is going to come out here eventually, take a look at this, and determine if it in fact is a sinkhole or because of the leaky pipe. Let's listen to what the assistant county administrator told us just moments ago. Based on what we see, based on one of our building inspectors out here at the scene, we believe that it's probably going to be a faulty pipe or some type of potential um, shower drain pan. We, we have a neighbor telling us that that might have been fixed recently in this house, but we haven't been able to completely verify that. And Kevin Guthrie stresses this is not like that giant sinkhole in Land Lakes. This is a completely different animal. And another thing that's interesting about this is this is, all, this is all on private property and not county land. So it will be up to the homeowner to fix it and not the county, unlike that big sinkhole that we saw in Land Lakes. Live in Pasco County, Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.